Hello, it's Kara on Grump Raves. Um, I have an unboxing video today, and I'm super excited because it is stuff I actually ordered for myself, so I actually bought it. It's not something that I was just going to test out, so I knew that I wanted it, and I know I'm going to like it. It's actually a couple things that I wanted to test out. Um, one thing that I've been wanting for a while, and then one thing is for a friend's birthday. So, maybe she'll see this before she gets her present, I don't know. It's Hook. I ordered it like the day after her birthday because I had to wait until I got my paycheck to be able to order it. So, yeah, it's like a little bit after her birthday. Um, it's from Germany, it's from Maluna. So I just took my thing out of here so you don't see where I live, but that's what it looks like. Just says that and it's checked. Oh, it's in German anyway, so no one's gonna know what it is. I don't even know what it says. All right, figure out how this opens. I guess it opens like that. Um, <laughs> random cardboard chunks everywhere. Okay, I also made a special request about size samples, so I'm not sure how they figured that out because I wanted... I already have a size sample thing of... Um, I already have a size sample ring of all the classic firmnesses, but when I, I want to start having like events like maybe at a church or at some sort of community center and so I can talk about rumps. So that will be exciting. So I asked for size samples in the soft and in the soft and the sport. Sorry, I'm just trying to go through everything and figure out what everything is. So I ordered the size samples. And then, yeah, okay, so it looks like they sent me a ring with all the classic firmnesses. And they sent me two extra cups that are the soft firmness, so you can feel they're really soft. And then they sent me two cups in the sport. So I have different ones to compare, which will be really nice. And I can also compare on video without having to buy a bunch of extra cups. So let's get to it. So I, or, okay, I'll just go through, I just showed you the size samples. I'll open those in a little bit. Okay, so size samples, we already saw those. Um, when you order size samples, they send you these packet things. Uh, it's just like the regular instructions that come with their stuff. And I did notice they have a new color. Their packaging is a new color. So that's really neat. It's, it's like pinker, kind of. I can show you an old packaging. I'll get that out real quick. Because I have a couple examples of their packaging in their old design, I guess. And I can show you the thing that's stapled at the top. I can just put it down in the bag so you can see. Can... Yeah, because their old one was a dark, a dark blue-ish color, and now it's that. I, I think it has all of the same information on it. It's just a different color. So that's still cool. Um, put this away. So let's start with what I actually ordered. I've just been talking and talking. So the thing that I wanted to try out are these soft tampons. They're just sponges. They aren't reusable, but I'm sure you could reuse them. They're just like this. I got one in normal absorbency and one in a mini. But they look to be the same size, which is weird. I don't, maybe, maybe the normal is denser. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I don't really want to open them right now, but anyway. And then there are, this looks like what the tampon came with. Just a little instruction packet. Find the English. Okay, so inserting, you remove it from the film. It just opens like that. You pull up this tab and it comes out. Uh, making it easier to insert, you should apply, apply a small amount of lubricant. 
um, to just dampen it, or you can damp it with clean water. And then you squeeze it out thoroughly afterwards, so it would be like a natural sponge tampon. They also had natural sponge tampons, but I decided to wait on those because these were almost $1.50 in US dollars cheaper, so I thought I'd just try these out first. Um, then you squat or sit on the toilet. Um, you place your index finger on one side of the flat sides of the tampon and hold it at the side of your thumb and middle finger and squeeze it together. Okay. So it looks like you would grab it like this from this end and then insert it. Okay. All right. How long can I wear it for? Just wear it as regular tampon intervals, it says. Approximately every three to five hours to change it. And I imagine there's no risk of toxic shock sy syndrome with these because they aren't, they aren't fibrous. Um, they recommend a maximum of eight hours for usage and that all just depends on your flow. You should change it after swimming or after sexual intercourse if you didn't use a condom. It says, okay, yeah, here it says to use it only once down at the bottom there. If you can see that, yeah. I'm sure you could rinse it out and reuse it, though. As, lo as long as it wasn't falling apart, because you don't want to get chunks of that in your body. Okay, so there's an integ- some- an integrated strap. So I guess it probably splits open in the middle of it so that you can grab into it. Um, it says it's safe to use with condoms and a contraceptive coil. Um, and it says not. don't forget to remove it at the end of your period. Okay. Okay, yeah, it does say right here, it has a whole written thing about how it's a much less risk of toxic shock syndrome. Um, I guess there is no proven information about menstrual cups or this type of tampon in relation to um, toxic shock syndrome. So menstrual cups, it doesn't say that you can't get it, but it just says there's never been a case associated with it. So it should not be a problem. Uh, it says it's the perfect complement to san sanitary tampons. All right. So yeah, it's it. I guess the last little thing just says that it's good to use if you're on your period and you want to have sex. So I guess that's good. You just want to like have a fresh one in right before. Okay. So these are the these are the actual things that I purchased. This is the one for my friend. It is a small sport. I decided to get her the sport um, just because it would be really easy to pop open. And if she doesn't like it, um, I, I guess I don't know what I would do, but <laughs> I'm sure she will. It's not actually that firm. It's just as firm as a firmer cup would be. Ooh, the... They must have changed their ball, the regular stem design with the balls on it, because the balls are bigger. Yeah, oh, I will sterilize it before I give it to her. Um, it looks like their plastic packaging is the same, and these are the, this is the same in here as the instruction pamphlets they gave me to hand out. And they also gave me size calculator things, so that's neat. I'm excited to give this to her. Um, I think she'll really like it. She's never used a tampon before successfully. So that's why I got her the small because the small it has the smallest rim to make an easy insertion. So the small gets super, super tiny. Maluna is one of the smallest folding cup brands. Oh, it, it stays down because it's firm enough. So... That's it. I like the look of the brand new bags. They're really slick because I've washed mine so they don't look quite as nice. I'll just put this down in there so she can see the size and everything. This is what I got for myself. It is 
the small mini in the soft firmness. I've been wanting this for a long time because my heavy isn't too, my flow isn't too heavy, I mean. <laughs> and I wanted to try the soft. It feels like, like a good firmness. It's not as soft as another soft would be. Um, the only re I don't like pink. It's just not a favorite color of mine. But I already, I think the pink, the cyan, and clear were the only colors they had in the small soft mini. Um, so I got pink because I already have the cyan color and I already have a clear color. So I thought it would just be nice to have a different color. So yeah, um, it just looks like that. I can compare it to this one. It's shorter. I have a really low cervix, so I do need short cups. And I got the ball stem. It's really squishy in the soft firmness. Um, I can compare the firmnesses even though it's not the same cup. But the top cup just squishes before the, the sport even moves. And this even has a bigger rim. See? A bigger rim. It's thicker and firmer. I think this cup is a lot firmer at the base because the rim doesn't really feel that much different than a classic but the base is really thick I wonder if it's just the material being thicker I'm not exactly sure <laughs> anyway this is really neat I'm super excited to have these now so I will definitely be testing mine out this cycle because I'm super excited to have it now um just just a small comment, the soft is always stickier because I have another soft cup. This one is like matte finish and it's really smooth, but the soft is sticky. I do have another soft cup and I've noticed that before. So I will just put those in their bags so I don't lose any parts. Put them back together. Alright, I'm so excited to give this to her now. I hope she likes it. Ugh. So, um, I don't really know if she wants to say me wants me to say this on camera, but you guys don't know who she is, so I'm just going to assume she wouldn't care. Um, she is almost scared to use a tampon, uh, but I think it's because she's using the wrong size. Because if any of you have known the Kotex tampons, just the regular, not the U by Kotex or the Junior ones or anything, just the regular Kotex tampons, they're huge. I used to use their regular tampons, and they're like any other brand but Super Plus. It's like crazy. And she was using the Super Plus of Kotex. I can't even imagine how huge that would be, and especially for trying a tampon your first time. So that's why, or I guess one of the reasons why I wanted to get her a cup so bad. And I've already given her cloth pads. She hasn't tried them yet though. So I guess I, I can ask her to review those when she's tried them enough. I can look at this and just kind of show you what I got. I'll hide my address. Pull it over so you can't see it at all. So this is what I got. So it's the Sport Small, the uh, Mini Small with the Soft, then the size samples, and both of the tampons. This is what it looks like. Oh, I probably should cover that up too. I don't want to show anything that would be bad to show. So yeah, that is what I got. And I just put right on here my request about including the different size samples. And that worked great. They did. I've never seen their black. I like it. And I, okay, so in my other ring, I didn't have a black one. And I didn't have a uh, one without a stem. So this is cool to see the plain... I guess, the plain stem. And I haven't seen their black. Their black is actually really matte. I like it. 
And black would never ever stain. So that would be really cool. So those are the classics. I can get out the softs next. It looks like all of these are um, larges, I believe. Well, maybe this one's a medium. Okay, I think they're all mediums. Actually, that one's probably a large. Maybe that one's an extra large. I really don't know. Let's just get them out of the packages and see. <laughs> Alright. These are the soft. It's very soft. I love soft cups. So this is the cyan color and this is the yellow color. They have different um, different colors available with different sizes and different firmnesses. So I think the cyan and the yellow are both only available in the soft. The stems are so soft and stretchy and so comfy feeling in the soft. And then these are the sport, which... I probably would not like, but for somebody who needed it, it would be awesome. Yeah, this is really firm. I guess it's not that firm compared to other cups, as I said before. Let's just look at what sizes these are. So I think they sent me a, a medium and a large in each. So I'll compare the medium to the medium. And the medium, again, in the large is firmer than... a. It's like firmer than... A, a different size would be. If you can tell here, see the medium is firmer than the large, and here in the sport, the medium again is firmer than the large. So that's weird. I really don't know why that is, but in every every firmness, the medium is the firmest out of all the sizes. So I guess keep that in mind if you're deciding between a medium and a different size. I guess it's not even that noticeable. So if you only had one cup, you probably wouldn't even know. But anyway. Yeah, the soft cups are definitely stickier. Uh, the yellow feels a little bit more matte than the cyan. It just has a little bit of a slicker feeling. The cyan is the color that I have in my medium soft. And yeah, I've never had the yellow color before. I've never had a sparkly color before. And I can go get my other size sample. I'll be right back. <sighs> okay, so this is the other sample ring that I have. I have the blue sparkles in this one. I don't know where I just put that other cup. So this is the blue sparkles and the, I think it's gold sparkles compared. So here are the two size sample rings that I have. I don't even know if you care about seeing them. But yeah, there they are. They're different. So this is, this is really nice to have. I really appreciate the company for sending this to me because I only ordered one ring and they sent me all these. They didn't charge any extra. So that's really nice. And now I have all of these to compare as well on my videos. And so I can make a separate video comparing the soft, the classic, and the sport now so that people can just kind of see what they're like. I can compare them right now, I guess. Just get off some of the cups on the ring. So I will do a medium and a medium. So here's the sport, classic, and soft. Three at a time. So I'm just gonna go down until until um until the soft is squished all the way. So there, you can see the sport has barely moved, the medium is about halfway squished, and the soft is all the way squished. So they say that they are 25% apart from each other. So if this one is, if this one would be zero, zero firmness, really soft, this one would be tw like a level 25 firmness, and this one would be 50, if that makes any sense. So just 25% firmer than the last one. 
it does make it kind of seem like it's twice as firm because the medium is halfway squished this one well yeah maybe this one is squished all the way this one is a quarter of the way squished and this one is halfway squished so maybe that does make sense uh, I can do that with the large too I don't know if it would turn out any different but let's give it a try oh that's weird okay never mind so again the oh was that the right cup to do? I think I just did the wrong cups, guys. Sorry about that if I did. <clears throat> I'm just trying to figure out what I even did. I think I did medium. I don't know, maybe both of these are large. So I don't have a medium in the soft, maybe. But I do have a small medium. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll, I will do a whole separate video on that, so don't worry about it. Um, yeah, if you have any questions about any of the stuff I just got, you can ask me. Um, I'm probably going to be just examining these for like the next hour, just comparing them and looking at them. So you can put in the comments, you can ask for a separate video if it's a, like a bigger question that would be video worthy. Um, if you have any questions about how they calculate your sizes, I can also give you suggestions on that. Um, yeah, so this is really exciting. So yeah, um, you can subscribe if you would like to keep up with my videos. I'm definitely going to start doing reg videos more regularly now. And that's it. So bye. Thanks for watching.